Okay, let's take a look at the Zubang Circlip set. So we actually have pliers here, so we have something we can actually use to install these and remove them. So it actually comes with four different jaws. So you can see this one is a 90, this one's a 45, and then we got two straights. It actually has a very cool design. So for snap ring pliers, if you squeeze it, it should provide the action that's going to actually remove it. So with this one, if we squeeze it, this is going to squeeze the circlip together. And if we want to change that, just press this button in, See, this guy moves out of the way. We can pull the whole thing apart. Just drop that in the hole. Press it down. And move that so that's in the way. And so now when you squeeze it, that is going to pull the spring apart. So you can lift it off of shafts or anything like that. It also came with some tweezers. If you're trying to set a spring clip, you can use this to kind of press that into where it needs to be. And then we've got our spring clips. So you can see on the top, it is marked so we know exactly what it is before we open it. And this is the 304 stainless steel version. So the alloy steel is going to be a little bit stronger, but this is going to be really good for corrosion resistance. So if you're going to be putting this anywhere where it's going to be in contact with the elements, this is the kit that you want. And I do really like that we've got everything from an M4 to an M28. So it is always handy having a variety. Now this set is all external, so all we're going to do is put our pliers in there like that. And then if we give it a squeeze, it's going to pull it apart slightly. You can see this gap right here opening up. Now you don't want to go too far because you can't actually open these things up too much and then they'll take that shape. So you just want to open it up enough that it'll go around that shaft and then slide it down, let it go, and pop it out. So right here, I've got a slight channel in there. I'm going to see if I can fit this on that. I'm just going to open it up, slide it on, and now we are clipped into place. So very cool. Now if we want a tighter fit than that, just go down to the next size down. And it's usually best to just use the correct one for the correct size. There we go. But you can make these things fairly rigid. This one I had to spread too far, and so I'm just going to throw that one away. Because, well, actually it did kind of rebound. So that's actually good. That, that means that this is a good spring steel clip. And it also came with this set. This is a different style. This does not use spring clip pliers. But these are also stainless steel. So these are going to be great for corrosion resistance, but you can see how tiny these get. This goes all the way down to a 1.5. So if you need something that's very small, this is going to be what you want for that. So all we're going to do is we're going to set it against that channel. And sometimes you can just take your finger and press it on. It really depends on these sizes and the tolerances you're working with. But most of the time I use tools and it clips right in. Now what these tweezers might be good for is we might be able to use that. Actually, we're pretty good. Now, these are spring clips. They do spring, so you got to be a little bit careful. But yeah, you can use these to pop those out. So yep, yeah, overall, that is a very nice kit.